If you guys are looking for some cheap NBA Live mobile coins to get these new 90 overall masters, make sure to head on over to MMOGO.com and use the code BOBBY at checkout for 5% off. What's up, ballers? We are back with some more NBA Live mobile. So today they finally brought back Team of the Week and they finally made them auctionable. Two amazing announcements. We thought Team of the Week was actually going to be gone for good. But it has returned, and we actually can get Elite Team of the Week chance packs from live events. Now, I'm guessing the odds for these are probably pretty terrible. I'm not really expecting a whole lot. But you never know. EA could surprise us, and we also have Elite chance packs for the flashback promo as well. So we're going to save those for the end and go ahead and hop in with these Elite flashback chance packs. Get that thumbnail picture right there. Starting at the bottom, we're going to see if we can get anything good. Like I said, I'm primarily expecting just randos, silvers, bronzes, maybe a gold every once in a while. If we could just pull a gold team of the week player, that would actually make us a lot of coins because right now gold team of the week players are going for about 100k. So I'll actually go a little bit more into our coin making method with those players after we get done opening these packs. Based off what I've seen so far, Probably not a whole lot of these, we're actually getting mostly training points, which is a little bit disappointing considering how long I played this live event, hoping I would at least get a gold. There may not even be the possibility of getting a gold. There are actually two different live events. One is the gold player chance pack and one's the elite player chance pack. I figured, why not go for the elite one, because I would rather have an elite than a gold, but maybe the other one has different pack odds. Let me know if you guys tried that out and got anything good out of it we're getting pretty much trash training packs right now hopefully we can get one team of the week player before the end of this but the odds are not looking great make sure to drop a like down below if you guys want to see more of our balling on a budget series i actually have not done this in a while but we actually have some nice coin making methods we've got some packs that we can get from live events as my battery is running low need to go charge my phone once i get done recording this Myers Leonard, we have not pulled anything better than a silver, which is pretty disappointing. But now you guys know, don't go for the elite player chance packs. Go for or just straight up player flashback live events and try to get some more of those packs. Although honestly, I don't know if those are any good either. So we're going to figure that out once we get through all these elite team of the week player packs or chance packs, not player packs. If you guys want to see some Elite Team of the Week player packs, let me know down in the comments. We can actually manage to get those now since we can buy the gold ones off of the auction house. Here we go. Flashback Elite Chance Pack. Anything? Eh. 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 We, we get Jonathan Isaac. Could have been worse, but considering the fact that I had to play a live event five times to get that one thing... Not a huge fan, and once again, no Elite. So, the Elite Chance Pack's not looking all that great, guys. Probably would not recommend them to you. We do have... Let's see, we can buy some packs with rep. I don't know if we can buy Team of the Week packs with rep, though. Do we have Team of the Week? Okay, we all we've got is the 500 cash one. And it's a Chance Pack, so we're not guaranteed anything, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Might save up some of my rep and try to grind a little bit more to try to get some of those players. But the flashback packs that we got right there do not have good pack odds. I opened one of those bundles and it was definitely not worth it. So I'm going to show you guys how I've doubled my coins just this morning. Earlier this morning I was at about 105k and as you guys can see I'm at 224 right now. Super easy sniping filter, really just sniping team of the week players. Got to figure out what their going price is starting out. Re last I checked, yep, about 105k. And if we scroll over, you'll see there's actually one that dropped for 80k. Thing is, we would barely make any profit off that, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm trying to get them for 70k or under, so there's a good chance that the filter just reset. If there are still ones up for 80k, let's see. So you can see all of those guys sold right there. But if you're getting them for 70k, you're guaranteed to make at least 15,000 coins profit. Super easy to snipe. I actually got one earlier for, I believe, 20k. Maybe less than that. It might have been 10k. So I just about doubled my coins on one snipe. If you can get some of those guys for like 5,000 or 8,000, automatic profit right there. Really easy way to go at it. I honestly cannot remember when the filter is supposed to reset, so I don't want to sit here 
and hit the refresh button for another five minutes if it did just reset. Let me make sure that 80,001 has sold, because if he hasn't, okay, yep, he did sell, which means the filter probably just reset, so we're not going to have a shot at getting that. But we are looking to improve our team because in order for us to complete this live event, the one for the flashback campaign, we need an 81 overall NBA lineup for that last pack before we get, or for the last live event before we get the free pack. Uh, we need an 81 overall NBA lineup. So we're going to try to get that. And we're also going to try to get an 81 overall classic lineup. We're going to see if we can do it with 224,000 coins. So we're going to hop on over to my team. Right now, we really do need to improve the power forward position. So we're going to see if we can get a 79 for relatively cheap. That might be enough by itself to boost this up to an 81. Let's see, 79 and hopefully under 20K. I honestly don't know what 79s are going for anymore. All right, a little bit more than that. 50K, I'm hoping it's not more than 50K. Come on, there we go. All right. So it looks like we should be able to get one for 40. I think this Aaron Gordon card is actually... Nope, I'm thinking the team of, team of the week Aaron Gordon, not that one. It's Jabari Park. Ooh, Jabari. Look at those. This looks like a budget beast. I'm about to pick up Jabari. I like those stats. Obviously, we're probably not going to actually do gameplay with him. And I guess if that's the case, then the stats don't really matter. We should probably more be looking for one that's going to give a boost to our bench. But I'm not sure that I see any of those anyway. Oh, Zach Randolph does, and he's going for only 29k. Let's see if he's one of the cheaper ones up. If he is, that's definitely who I'm going to... All right! Easy choice right there. He gives a boost. Let me see what boost he's given. That'll help us even more. Plus one PAB to power four. PAB. Pass accuracy... Uh, passability? Maybe that's what it is? Okay. So our NBA lineup is still only an 80 overall, which means we probably need to improve our power forward position as well. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can train up some of these players. I'm pretty sure this Paul George is unauctionable, so that's probably going to be one that I want to train. We got lots of training tokens that are ready to be used, so might as well invest in what we've got right now. We're going to go ahead and apply that training. And we make back almost as many coins as we actually use training up the player in the first place. So that's a nice boost. Hey, there we go. Our NBA lineup is at an 81. That's what I like to see. Why is this still locked though? You need an 81 overall for that. What are you talking about? Are we, are we not seeing the same thing? 81 overall. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Hold up. Oh, wait. I gotta play that one. Well, no, I've beaten it. I got the W on that one. You need an 81 overall. I have an 81 overall. What is this talking about? What is this? No okay, whatever. We're gonna go and improve our classic lineup as well, because we need that up to it. Wow, we definitely need a better... How have I not had a better shooting guard than that? I'm gonna try to get an elite shooting guard, see if we've got any for... Relatively cheap. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to pay at least about 100k coins, but we can afford that. So what am I What am I trying to do? I cannot even think right now. Shooting guard. There we go. Can we get one for like 85k? That would be nice, nice, nice. No. How about 95k? One, two, three. No. How about 110k? Please, not more than that. Please, please. Oh my. All right. So, that means we're going to bump it down to a 70... Oh my gosh, I can't type. 79. Come on, there we go. That's what I like to see. Shane Battier, this person is going to be starting, so we want to be more selective on this one. Shane Battier got some nice stats. What about Steve Kerr? The coach of the Warriors. Nothing super amazing for him. Somehow he only has a 73-point rating. What about Larry Hughes? Oh, he's, his stats looking nice. Still only one 80-plus stat. Steve Smith, Michigan State graduate. Once again, some decent stats. None of these guys really have amazing stats, though. Probably going to come down to who's the cheapest, and it looks like Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is at 84 or 85. Larry, actually, you know what? That's Steve Smith, and he's a Michigan State graduate, so might as well pick him up. Hopefully, that will give a nice boost to our classic lineup. Let's see what that gets us to. Update team. 
and somehow we're still only at a 79. What? What is, what is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? Okay, we're going to upgrade Chris Mullen right quick because he's unauctionable, which means we might as well train him up as much as we can. I don't think I can use those harvest collectibles anymore either. So I'll go ahead and get rid of those. Can't use... Wow, I wasted a lot of collectibles. We'll go ahead and apply that train and get him up to an 83 overall. Thank you very much. And hopefully that'll help his stats. How am I still not at an 80? All right, time to improve our shooting guard and our power forward once again. We'll probably go for 78 because I'm not trying to spend that much. I don't need center. I need shooting guard and power forward for running gun and power play style. Come on. Give me something for 45k. That's what I want to see. Come on. For yes. Thank you. All right. So we're basically going to go for the cheapest possible one because they are going to be on our bench. Let's see. Maybe, maybe 30k. Can we get them for 30? Please? Oh, just sold. Okay. So we're going to go for 35, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, so we got a power forward. Do we have a shooting guard? No, no shooting guards. Do any of these guys give boosts? I do not see any boosts, so I'm going to get the cheapest one, which appears to be 34,000. So we'll go ahead and pick him up. And then we need a shooting guard as well, so we'll bump it up to 40K and see what that gives us. Anything? Okay. We'll bump it up to 45K. Please don't be over 45. Come on, I'm not even going to use this player. 50k? Come on, not more than 50k. Oh my gosh, this is this is crazy. All right, we're going 77. That is much, much better. All right, we're going back down to 35k. Hopefully, this will at least get us up to an 80. We got Jalen Rose. I don't think any of these guys give... Oh, 20! Snipe! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Making coins and getting the player that I need. Well, not making coins because I'm not going to sell him. But there we go. We got our classic lineup up to an 80. One more overall and we're going to be there. That's probably going to be it for the video, guys. Because I'm trying not to spend too many more coins. Because I do want to take advantage of this coin making method while I've got a chance to do it. But that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like down below if you did. And hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.